All right, hey, Shalom, I can first and foremost I give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekak Padash. I want to say double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simu Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brethren out there, push his knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite foreigners who were scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one that we call Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one that we call God, one that we call Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. When you call upon the Most High and His Son, you must say Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shah, Yahweh means he to be, or he is. But Hashem means in the name, and Yahweh Shah means he delivers. Our Lord and Savior is coming back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel upon the destruction of the modern day Babylon, aka America. I want to say Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, and the body Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for another blessed day. The body Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for the, um, for the apostles and elders for Great Millstone. The body out by Shem Yahweh Shai for this opportunity, this blessed truth, and the body out by Shem Yahweh Shai for all you beloved brethren out there, push his knowledge and sincerity and truth. All right, coming back at you with another lesson through the Holy Spirit. The last video of this is based upon the chariots. All right, there's a lot of um chariot sightings is being spotted throughout the world, and you should know that the uh you know the Edomites and their power structure they're having meetings. They have uh, declassified information. They got all types of footages, not even from from what's going on right now, from from way back in the days. You understand? Well, within their power structure, I must say that now they have the understanding. According to the scriptures, that's how our Lord and Savior is going to come back. So they've been preparing for this um this this grand finale, where the scripture clearly says Michael and his angels shall fight against um the dragon and his angels roughly paraphrasing dealing with esau and um and his um military might is going to try to fight off yahweh shy and and michael the archangel which is going to be uh a grand showdown which the edomite and the whole um esau and his whole power structure with other nations they're going to lose they're going to, they're going to, as scripture clearly says, it's going to be a dust and a smell of smoke pursuant to uh, 2 Ezra 13, man. They're going to be melted from those laser beams that's going to come out those ships. You understand what I'm saying? A good glimpse of that, like I said, is Independence Day. And you check out War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise. Those tripods that came up out of the earth or whatever, those represent the chariots. You know, because they they have tripods as well. Um, John the Revelator actually saw a ship with uh with tripods. Um, two two of the uh two of the legs stood upon the ocean, the other one stood upon the earth. So the ships they have tripods as well. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't want to keep rambling. This is Revelation chapter one verse seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. These clouds is uh. It's speaking about the ships, because not only um these angelic forces, the ships have tripods when they come into our our dimension, our world, but they can camouflage themselves as clouds, actual clouds. You understand what I'm saying? So the angels, they're always out here, man. What you call cloaking mechanisms, and then every eye shall see him. How every eye is going to see the Messiah? Because his ship is going to be a, a gigantic ship, what you call a father ship. He's going to cover the earth. Because Habakkuk, brother Habakkuk, what he saw, he said he stood and measured the earth. What kind of power is that, man, that can, can measure this gigantic planet? You know, that that's, that's a gigantic spaceship. And they also, which pierced him. So those, those are top Roman officials. They're back again today in Esau's power structure somewhere. And all kindreds of the earth shall will because of him. Even so, amen. Amen. 
I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. The beginning and the ending, said the Lord, which is, which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. Now, peep this. Well, if you're a UFO enthusiast, then this is good news for you because the United States Department of Defense has announced that they are launching a website strictly to provide updates on unidentified anomalous phenomena, also known as UFOs. Pentagon spokesperson Patrick Ryder said this website will be a one-stop shop of information so the public can access all declassified videos, photos and updates on recent findings. A press release read, this website will provide information, including photos and videos on resolved UAP cases as they are declassified and approved for public release. The website's other content includes reporting trends and a frequently asked questions section, as well as links to official reports, transcripts, press releases and other resources that the public may find useful, such as applicable statutes and aircraft, balloon and satellite tracking sites. Now, this move from the Pentagon comes after there was a push for more transparency on research and operations into UFOs or UAPs. It came after David Grush, a former intelligence officer in the Air Force and National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, appeared at a House Oversight Committee hearing in late July. He, along with two other whistleblowers, made various allegations to Congress claiming the U.S. has been concealing a multi-decade program to capture UFOs. David Grush said the U.S. government has long known about a secret UFO program and have in their possession a non-human spacecraft, which includes dead pilots. Take a look at... Now, that part, that part is not true. That is not true. You understand what I'm saying? But they have a program that they've been working on I think they probably upgraded now, but you could look up the Star Wars program. You understand what I'm saying? That, that deals with Esau's nest. So there's going to be one great battle in our skies that's going to happen upon the second coming of the Messiah. So they're having all these meetings because what? Because they know they have a short time. You understand what I'm saying? And what what they about to encounter, you know, the most sides going to put in their minds to fight. They're going to lose in one hour. Um, this great city of Babylon is going to be thrown out in one hour upon Yahushua returning. Missiles are shot off the spaceships. Esau power structure and the rest of the nations will not be uh, anymore around. Coming back as, the, as, the, as the, he's coming back to make war, to conquer, to conquer and to make war and to redeem the elect of Yahshua Allah. Uh, uh, one more time, my Lord and Savior is coming back to conquer, to make war. And to redeem the elect of Israel, starting off with 144,000. No more of this nonsense. So you could you could continue to watch that. So behold, he cometh with clouds. So let's get into some precept. He cometh. Show how powerful our Lord and Savior is. Psalms 97 and 1. The Lord reigneth, let the earth rejoice. Yahweh, by Hashem Shai. Let the multitude of the isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness around about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. <coughs> Excuse me. Because you got the angelic forces. A report back and forth to Yahweh by Shimei Awashai to send out righteousness and judgment. All things that are done through Yahweh Yahweh in the spiritual realm. The spiritual realm controls the physical realm. We are in the physical realm. It says five gold Go before him and burn it up his enemies round about. You're dealing with that, that grand finale, that, that thermonuclear destruction, and the laser beams that's going to come out from ships when Yahweh Shah returns. When Micah the Archangel, his lightnings enlighten the world, the earth saw and trembled. The earth saw and trembled. This, this is who you need to fear, man. That Esau and his new world order, the scandemic and all that, man. We thoroughly feared Yahweh by Shem Shai. The hills melted like wax at the presence of Yahweh. Through Yahweh Shai. At the presence of the Lord. It says uppercase and lowercase. Because Yahweh Shai is coming back to redeem what is his. Given from his father. Of the whole earth. Of the old. Oh my goodness. Supreme intergalactic power. Heavens declare his righteousness and all the people see his glory. 
confounded by all they that serve graven images. Everyone will be confounded. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that boast themselves of idols and worship him, all he gods. You see? Amen. All you Satanists, so-called Luciferians, all, all, all that's going to be wiped away. All right? Zion heard and was glad dealing with the elect. Don't worry about these, these you jakes that's mocking the Lord, Jay-Z, and all you guys. You're going to be confounded. The heavenly father has gave you over to a lying spirit so you get puffed up so you can you're going to be evaporated. However, the most high, you know, is going to judge you. Zion heard is dealing with the real Israelites, people of Negroid, Spanish speaking, and native tri tribal descent, Seminole Indians, Native Americans, those have been scattered, okay, because we are not Africans. There's a difference between the Negroid tribes and the real Africans. They're from the lineage of Ham. Okay? The so-called Negroes are from the lineage of Jacob. Okay? From Shem. Shem comes from, uh, I'm sorry, Jacob comes from the lineage of Shem. So the Zion that heard this word is the elect and was glad. This, when you read certain man, it pumps you up, gives you hope. Go run two miles or something, man. Make you feel good about yourself. Praise the Lord, man. And uh oh, and the daughters of Judah re rejoice because of the judgments of Yahweh. So, are women going to come back? Women, you got women preserves, preserved of the house of Judah, man. Black woman. <laughs> all right. For thou, Yahweh, art high above all the earth. Thou, thou art exalted far above all gods. He that love you, how will hate evil? That's why we don't fit in the society. It's nothing but evil and, and it's, it's nonsense. He preserved the souls of his saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites are the saints. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. So the Lord is going to protect the elect. Even though some of us are going to be martyrs and come back in great glory. Okay? Great glory in the reincarnation. All right? So we're going to go to separate, separate the sheep from the goats. I think it's Matthew 24. The sheeps. Sheep from the goat. Hold on for a second. All right, found it. The head, the head, the headline is the judgment. It says, "When the Son of Man," this is written in red for a reason. Warning: When the Son of Man, Yahweh Shai, who is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, shall come in his glory, come up with those clouds, gigantic spaceship, the angelic forces, millions of them, thousands of them, shall cover our skies. You got the tabernacle of, of David, 144,000, which are the ground forces for Yahweh Shah. And all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, because his new kingdom is, is being set up for him. Before him shall be gathered all nations, including Israel. He shall separate them one from another as a sheep separated, it's like as a shepherd's divided his sheep from the goats. The sheep represents the, the righteous, the elect of Yahshua Allah. And the goat represents the wicked. So that's why a lot of these celebrities are given unto this satanic vibration. Because they, they represent the wicked. The Baphomet. Alright? When you go into the uh, root word etymology, Sorry, the kid, the goat, who represents perhaps from the same. Let me see. Well, he should probably switch this up. He supposed to represents the wicked. Arion. Arion. Erifos. Hold on. 
and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Let's see the definition for if that's the same definition. Yeah. Here it is. You see? Erife Fion. Strong's G, 2055, Erifion. Erifion. So you go down to the Strong's definition. Erifion, the kidling, i.e. genitive case, goat, symbolically wicked person. All right? So there's a reason why there's two animals that are mentioned here, the sheep and the goats. What is that? That demonic demon they worship in Hollywood throughout the world? Baphomet. This represents Satan. All right? He shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, the elect, we shall be gathered out of, out of the world, out of America, throughout the four corners of the earth. Men, women, and children. Come, he blessed of my father. These spirits were, were given unto Yahweh Shai since the beginning. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. So that's, that's what he's coming back to do. All right, then you jump down. All right, verse 20, verse 41. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, depart from me. He cursed, all right, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. So that's what's going And so this everlasting fire just deal with the thermonuclear destruction. What's going to happen over here in America, different parts of the world, Israel, so on and so forth. So the ones that stuck here in America, you're going to get caught up in a nuclear destruction. It's not a place that you burn forever under the earth or pit called hell. It just the word hell just means the grave. It's giving all praises to Yahweh by Shimia Lord willing Yahweh by Shimia mercy upon us. And shalom.